The famous red-tailed hawk who nestled above Fifth Avenue for decades has died. CBS 2's Dave Carlin looks back on the amazing story of pale male. A New York City celebrity covered in feathers. Oh, my God! Pale male was followed for three decades by camera and binocular toting fans. And as the red-tailed hawk hunted and mated, he more than any other bird exposed us to the kinds of wildlife that need to be protected in our concrete jungle. I remember first seeing him soaring. Longtime bird watcher Richard Lau said news of pale male's death saddens him, but he also feels grateful. Thank you, pale male, for all the wonderful moments. Pale male's legend dates back to the early 1990s. He settled atop this swanky Fifth Avenue apartment building, but the nest was removed by the co-op board. Some New Yorkers protested, including building resident Mary Tyler Moore. The board reversed its decision, adding a metal support, and pale male came back. Everybody stopping and just staring at this incredible majestic creature. Pale male was probably the first inkling I had that nature is really thriving here in the park. It was Monday afternoon when a park ranger found the noticeably ill bird in this area near the intersection of East 79th Street and Fifth Avenue. The death is blamed on severe renal failure due to his advanced age. They aren't a nuisance, they're a wonder. Rita McMahon, director of the Wild Bird Fund, marvels that it seems pale male lived to 33 years old when life expectancy is usually around 20. Pale male was a great educator. Unfortunately, he never got banded, you know, so we can't prove it's him. Bird watcher Deborah Allen chooses not to dwell on that mystery, instead reflecting on a life that brought joy to the city and a better understanding and treatment of birds everywhere. In Central Park, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. It is believed pale male had eight mates and about two dozen offspring. Iconic life. Yes. Wow.